The British Virgin Islands hosts a number of incredible ecosystems, including rich scrub forests and pristine coral reefs. We've already taken a look at the terrestrial wildlife of BVI, and we'll be covering the aquatic life very soon. But before we get our feet wet, we want to show you another unique group of creatures that bridge the gap between land and sea. These intrepid explorers populate almost every island in the Caribbean, and whenever we step foot on the beach, we knew coming across these guys was a safe bet. So if you guys are ready, let's take a look at the crabs of the British Virgin Islands. The most plentiful species we encountered while out exploring was the mangrove tree crab. This unique species is arboreal, meaning it spends the majority of its time up in the trees, and because of that, these guys are excellent climbers. They'll move up and down the twisted branches of the red mangrove trees in search of food, according to the position of the tide. Now one thing that's really interesting about mangrove tree crabs is that they're actually primarily herbivorous, so they eat a wide variety of seagrasses and mangrove-dwelling plants, though they'll occasionally eat plankton or fish carcasses as well. Now mangrove tree crabs also have a number of predators, including shorebirds and larger crabs, and they rely on their camouflage as their primary defense mechanism. As far as finding crabs is concerned, there is no defined time of day that you are most likely to come across one. This meant that in order to get an episode, we had to search by day, and also under the cover of darkness. Exploring at night actually yielded some incredible results, including an unexpected capture with a very familiar species. All right, guys, so we have a huge blue swimmer crab, and I didn't even know these guys were native to BVI, but I'm gonna see if I can get him in front of the camera. Yeah, there he is. All right, bro, see if you can capture that guy. Got him. Got him? Yes. Nice, okay. Oh, wow, we have a cockroach right here, too. Really? We are covered in animals right now, guys. Let me turn off my, ooh, yeah, he's pinching me a little bit. Yeah, all right. So let's get this guy Look. into a more controlled environment. What do you say? Let's do that. All right, so you guys just saw me catch this little guy, the second crab of the night, actually. This guy is a blue swimmer crab. Now, we actually get these in New Jersey, and hopefully we'll get some of those on video down in, uh, in the New Jersey area where we film. We also see these guys across the east coast of the United States, but they do work their way down into the Caribbean where we are in the British Virgin Islands. And it's very interesting for us because even when we're out here in a country we've never visited before in a tropical part of the world, another place we've never visited before, we can still find these familiar species like the blue swimmer crab. And you can see those giant claws that have that nice blue color there. And that's actually why they call them blue swimmer crabs. Check that out. Awesome find. So let's uh, follow me down here to the water's edge. We'll give him a bit of a release now. Excellent. Beautiful little guy. And like the anoles we've been finding, these guys are primarily diurnal. Don't know if you can hear me. It's a little bit windy. Watch this. Got that light on? Yep. And watch how quickly this guy will swim away. Just like that. Catching a blue swimmer crab was very interesting for us, as we did not expect to come across one in the British Virgin Islands. Our next two captures were of much more exotic species, and we could not pass up the opportunity to get these crabs in front of the camera. Check this out, guys. This is an absolutely massive Caribbean land hermit crab. Now, you did hear me right there. These guys are mostly terrestrial. This is not a crab species that will be spending a lot of the time in the water. They do have gills, but they're actually modified to breathe air. So us taking a look at this guy like this will not hurt him in any way whatsoever. Now one of the cool things about the Caribbean hermit crab is that they are actually very commonly traded in the pet trade. Back in the United States, you'll see these guys marketed in almost every pet store because they're so easy to take care of and they will live for quite a while as invertebrates are concerned. Some pet owners have even claimed to have crabs that have lived 20 years and he's absolutely massive. Take a look at the size of this guy. Not a, a lot of people realize these crabs do get quite large. And you can see that big pincher there. As he tucks into his shell like he's doing now, he will actually use that big claw as defense. But primarily, what they use those claws for is actually ripping apart their prey, which for this species is actually a mix of decaying fish and other washed up animals on the beach and decaying fruit as well. These guys are omnivores. 
So let's get this guy back on the rocks where he belongs and try and find some more cool animals. This guy's a little shore crab. Now we're not sure exactly which species he is just yet, but as soon as we know, we'll put it on screen for you guys. As it turns out, this is a Sally Lightfoot crab, a well-known shore crab species found all over the world, including here in the British Virgin Islands. Now these guys are actually very skittish. It's kind of surprising because most crabs don't really mind our presence, but as we're searching for these guys, as soon as they sense our light, they're actually going to jump off of the rocks where they're hunting and basically just go right into the current, and after that, they're gone. We can't catch them. Now what they're out here doing at this time of night is actually feeding. They're going to be feeding mostly on carrion, such as dead fish. Now, you can see he's kind of bubbling there. That's right where his mouth is. And what he's actually doing is just getting some oxygen and some water through his gills. So because these guys are an aquatic species, we want to make sure that we get him back in the water right away. So let's release this guy now. Crabs are some of the most resilient creatures in the world. And in fact, they have been on the Earth for over 160 million years. These survivors are often overlooked by people. But it is our hope that by showing you these incredible animals, you will take away a greater respect for them and the role they play in the ecosystem. Our explorations of the British Virgin Islands have been extremely rewarding, as we have been able to film many different species that inhabit this rugged place. But it is time at last to shift our focus to perhaps the most beautiful and most threatened ecosystem of them all. We hope you're ready, because our next videos will take you below the water surface and into the coral reefs of the Caribbean. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, leave a like on it, and comment down below if you are excited to see some aquatic wildlife. And be sure to subscribe, because we have some amazing content coming out very soon.